Hey guys welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Chips. Stay tuned and subscribe to get latest video updates. In this video I am going to explain everything you need to know about a software developer's job, role and responsibilities. Do not miss anything and watch this video up to end. Thank you very much. Ok let's start and see what a software developer's job is all about. So who is software developer and what his or her job is? Well becoming a software developer, also known as a software programmer, you will be playing a key role in design, development, unit testing and maintenance of software systems. The programs or applications that a software developer create are likely to help businesses be more efficient and provide a better service. Based on your company particular needs a software developer can be responsible for writing, coding individual programs or providing an entirely new software application. The specifications you'll work on will often come from IT analysts, architects or tech leads. Software developers are employed across all industry sectors, from finance and retail to engineering, transport and public organizations, so the projects you work on can be from any sector or industry. Sometimes a software developer may also use out-of-the-box software, which is developed by someone else. A software developer requires to modify and integrate this into an existing network to meet the needs of the business. As a software developer, your list of tasks can include Reviewing current software systems presenting ideas for system improvements, which may include cost proposals working closely with analysts, designers and architects producing detailed specifications and writing the program codes testing the product in controlled, real situations before going live preparation of training manuals for users maintaining the systems once they are up and running. Current opportunities for software developers. Currently, about a third of IT jobs are in development and programming and you can become a software developer across virtually all industry sectors. So if you have a particular area of interest, there's a chance you can work in a suitable industry. In a typical progression path, you could be promoted to senior or principal developer and from there to project manager. Alternatively, you could choose to move into a related field of technology, like systems design, IT architecture and business systems analysis. If you're keen to work for yourself, there is a chance you could work as a freelancer or consultant, giving you increased working flexibility. Overseas work is also available for those interested in seeing more of the world and working in a range of locations. Required skills. Knowledge of programming skills is a prerequisite. However, the particular language will depend on the requirements of the specific company. Among the skills employers will look for are Knowledge of programming skills are a given if you want to get into software development. You'll need to be comfortable with web-based programs, as well as traditional programs like Java and Visual Basic. The key skills to play up when you're looking for a job as a software developer are as follows. Expertise in current computer hardware and software ability to use one or more development language C++, C Sharp, PHP etc. Strong communication skills ability to work in a team eye for detail and identifying problems and understanding of business analytical and commercial experience. Entry requirements for software developers. Most employers will expect you have to have a relevant computer science qualification or degree, but there are companies that hire trainee as programmers too. If you have a computer science degree that's great, but if your degree course is not related to IT, you can still apply for a graduate trainee scheme, or take a postgraduate conversion course to build up the relevant skills. Some of the most sought-after skills by employers include Java, C++, C Sharp, Visual Basic, Oracle, Linux and Net. PHP are also becoming increasingly in demand. A software developer's training. It's essential that you stay up to date with the fast-paced IT industry as new developments are always appearing. Many organizations may offer a training program to keep you updates on the latest movements within the industry, particularly relating to the business requirements and resources. At a junior level, you could learn many skills from more senior programmers and or go on external courses to boost your personal skills. Much of this training will be focused on programming, systems analysis and software from recognized providers including the British Computer Society, eSkills, the Institute of Analysts and Programmers and the Institute for the Management of Information Systems. All the software vendors, including Microsoft and Sun run accredited training too. 
hours and environment for software developer. A software developer's working hours can be 37 to 40 hours a week, but when deadlines have to be met, you can be required to working longer and later hours or at weekend. Traveling may be involved, depending whether you work in-house or for a range of clients. If you do work for clients, it's likely you'll have to visit their sites and spend the majority of your time on their premises. If they're far away, it may be necessary to work away from home for a period of time. Thanks to various technological advances, there's also the possibility of working remotely from home if you're self-employed or your company allows it. Average salary for software developers in USA. As a graduate you'll probably start earning around $30,000 to $45,000. At management level, your pay is likely to increase to $60,000 to $100,000, or even higher which may include bonuses. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe to get similar video updates.